Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Whistler 10 R2 Alpha 1. Yes, I named this VM incorrectly. Please ignore the name of the VM. This is actually Whistler 10 R2 Alpha 1. My last video, we took a look at Windows XP 2025 edition, and we realized just how bad it was. So, someone in my comments commented that we should take a look at this build because it is quote, as terrible as the one we took at in the last video. Even on the archive.org page, they say, under no circumstances should you main this. This is a very early test release of this terrible mod and is very bare bone, buggy, and lax in some places. This is for demo purposes only. So going into this with very low expectations, I'm eager to see, hey, what is this gonna look like? How is it going to mimic Windows Whistler? The goal is this, is to make Windows 10 look like Whistler 2428. Uh, I can't remember exactly what specific build of Windows Whistler that is, but I guess we're going to find out as soon as we boot into the desktop. So let's go ahead and continue through what looks like a standard Windows 10 installation, nothing too out of the ordinary just yet. And we are going to go ahead and accept the license terms, do a custom install on this disk, and continue. We are now installing this terrible OS. We are going to go through this with the idea that this is a terrible OS, and I hope that they prove us wrong. All right, and here we are inside on the desktop of this terrible operating system. And from first impressions, this actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, just by looking at the desktop, there's some subtle differences between this build and the actual builds of Windows Whistler, but for someone who doesn't know, they wouldn't be able to tell. So by default on the desktop, we have file a bug report, um, obviously not going to work. We have README, um, which is actually a README that appears to be from Windows Whistler, so it's actually a real README file, not one for the OS. Run in compatibility mode, and here we go. Here's the mod README. So this is the README for the mod. Pretty cool. Um, going down into the start menu here, we can see, I mean, there are some subtle differences and some subtle glitches, but granted, it still mimics Windows Whistler pretty well. So here, by default, we have Internet Explorer, which does open a themed Firefox. We then have Email Outlook Express, which does not open. We then have Windows Media Player, which is actually a Windows Whistler, Windows Me style media player. This is actually really cool, except it aired out and will not load. And it is now loading a Microsoft support page that I can not get out. Of. There we go. Then we have settings and file transfer wizard where we can transfer from an older computer to this current computer. Under more programs, which again is glitched out, we have the Windows update, which not happening, no, very cool. We then have activate windows, which is for decoration. Uh, why would you activate a build from two decades ago? Under accessories, we have nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, typical Windows stuff, but again, uh, certain things aren't going to work like hyper terminal is probably they just put the exe and not the required things again msn doesn't work i mean i not that i expected any of this to work uh phone dialer i mean it at least opened but it doesn't actually you know okay enough of looking at that kind of stuff let's move down into accessories which is where we were we have of course our classic calculator they then have, let's see, command prompt, which should say Windows, so it says 2001, but then it also says the current build of Windows, so 19044. I don't actually know what version of Windows 10 that is. Tor Windows Whistler is here, um, which does, it just appears to be the Windows XP Tor, nothing too strange there. Uh, we then have MSN Explorer, Outlook Express, and Windows Media Player, which we already took a look at. Under my computer, right-clicking, it opens up the Windows 10 settings, where we can see, okay, 21H2. So I believe the latest version is 22H2 for Windows 10, so not bad at all. Still an end-of-life operating system, or if it's not already end-of-life, it's pretty close. Um, this build was appears to at least they started compiling on the 19th of January of 2025, so we're a little over a month old on this build. And it just looks really weird having this Windows 10 modern UI settings panel on top of this Windows Whistler themed OS. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and run Winver here and let's see if we have Windows Whistler. I don't actually know if this is what Windows Whistler looked like or not, but pretty interesting nonetheless. They even added a fake uh, expires date for the time bomb, 29th of July. Uh, that's when Windows 10 originally came out, July 29th, 2015. Maybe 
was that done intentionally I don't know maybe if the developer finds this video they could comment this down below if that was done intentionally or not let's take a look here in our properties we have all kinds of different backgrounds we could pick including bliss which this isn't actually this is a different bliss I actually like that one uh, we'll go back to the red moon desert interesting it just crashed when I clicked appearance interesting let's go back to screensaver uh, let's see what kind of screensavers we have nothing too strange I mean these are Windows 10 screensavers because I guarantee you Windows XP did not have ribbons like that um, let's see what else you can have bubbles yeah I don't think Windows XP had that either but regardless that is the screensaver options as for our local disk we have we're using 16.6 .6 gigabytes and again our disk is we have 43.2 free um, from a 60 gig disk not bad and in terms of let's see here performance we are using typical Windows CPU util utilization and 1.8 out of 8 gigs of RAM so with that being said despite the quote we came into this thinking it was gonna be terrible because that's what the developer said it's not terrible I mean obviously it's still in alpha we have things that are crashing we have some things that don't work but I expect that out of an alpha build and this actually isn't that bad I mean if they put more time and effort into it and you know worked out some of the issues I think this actually would be pretty good um, so there's I don't think there's a reason to call this terrible it's still under development and it's definitely not as bad as Windows XP 2025 edition speaking of that if you've not seen that video make sure to check it out it's the last video on my YouTube channel definitely let me know what you thought of that video in the comments below because that was a rough one but with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.